Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's good to be back uh, to lead you in this time of prayer this day. We've got a minute before we start, so let's just slow down and just get into that space where we're about to meet God. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 150. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Oh, praise God in his holiness. Praise him in the ferment of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him upon the harp and the lyre. Praise him with the timbrel and dances. Praise him upon the strings and pipe. Praise him with ringing cymbals. Praise him upon the clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. God of life and love, whose Son was victorious over sin and death, make us alive with his life, that the whole world may resound with your praise, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is from 1 Samuel, Hannah's prayer. Hannah prayed, I'm bursting with God news. I'm walking on air. I'm laughing at my rivals. I'm dancing with my salvation. Nothing and no one is holy like God, no rock mountain like our God. Don't dare talk pretentiously. Not a word of boasting ever. For God knows what's going on. He takes the measure of everything that happens. The weapons of the strong are smashed to pieces, while the weak are infused with fresh strength. The well-fed are out begging in the streets for crusts, while the hungry are getting second helpings. The barren woman has a house full of children, while the mother of many is bereft. God brings death and God brings life, brings down to the grave and raises up. God brings poverty and God brings wealth. He lowers, he also lifts up. He puts poor people on their feet again. He rekindles burned out lives with fresh hope, restoring dignity and respect to their lives, a place in the sun. For the very structures of earth are God's. He laid out his operations on a firm foundation. He protectively cares for his faithful friends step by step, but leaves the wicked to stumble in the dark. No one makes it in this life by sheer muscle. God's enemies will be blasted out of the sky, crashed in a heap and burned. God will set things right all over the earth. He'll give strength to his king. He'll set his anointed on top of the world. Stay with me, remain here with me. Stay with me, remain here with me. Watch and pray, watch and pray. Stay with me, 
Remain here with me. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Our gospel reading is from Mark. Just then, Jesus' mother and brothers showed up. Standing outside, they relayed, relayed a message that they wanted a word with him. He was surrounded by the crowd when he was giving the message. Your mother and brothers and sisters are outside looking for you. Jesus responded, Who do you think are my mother and brothers? Looking around, taking everyone seated around him in, he said, Right here, right in front of you, my mother and my brothers. Obedience is thicker than blood. The person who obeys God's will is my brother and sister and mother. We praise you, O oh God. We acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and the seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we continue to ask for your strength and protection through this dangerous and difficult time, Lord. We worry about ourselves. We worry about our family and our friends. People are isolated at home, feeling the strain and stress of trying to follow the rules the government have laid out isolating and keeping safe Lord, i pray that you can strengthen us help us to find ways to fight this anxiety and this loneliness help us to be wise in the decisions we make about how we re-enter the world safely inspire us and keep us strong lord during this difficult time Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Father, today, teachers are returning back to school. Teaching assistants are returning back to school. The doors are reopening. And for lots of people, this is a sign of pr progression and moving forward and coming to the end of this. But for others, it's a time of tension and worry and stress. So Lord, I pray that these schools can be safe, that teachers, teaching assistants, governors, head teachers, all those in power make wise decisions, Lord. I pray that you can be part of that decision-making process, that they use good judgment in how they handle the situation. I pray and ask for your help in keeping people safe, the children safe, the staff safe. And I pray, Lord, that it can be an enjoyable experience for the children, that it's not, not detrimental to them, that they can learn, that they can enjoy their time seeing their friends again. But this can be done in a safe way, Lord. 
So I pray for your presence, your spirit to be in all those places, watching over and keeping safe. Lord, I also pray for the parents who don't feel able to let their children go. Lord, I pray that a sense of guilt isn't placed on them. They are doing what they think is best and that people appreciate that. And vice versa, the parents who let their children go, that they're not judged either in a negative way. We're all trying our very best to make the right decisions in this moment. So I pray that we can be kind to one another and kind to ourselves during this time, Lord. Help us with that. Help us to do that. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all the NHS staff, the frontline staff, the emergency services, people in power who are making decisions for the country, people preparing and testing everyone involved in this fight, we lift them to you, Lord, and ask for renewed strength, that you lift them up, that you hold them, keep them strong during this difficult time, and keep them safe, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, Lord, we just take this moment of silence to lift our own prayers to you, our own anxieties, our own joys, Whatever's going through our mind and in our heart at this moment, Lord, we lift to you now in this moment of silence. O Lord, from whom all good things do come, grant to us your humble servants that by your holy inspiration we may think those things that are good and by your merciful guiding may perform the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Looking for the coming of his kingdom, as our Saviour taught us, so with longing we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I pray you have a, a, a good day. Enjoy this day. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. And please, get, please join me again this evening at 5 p.m. God bless. <laughs>